and welcome back to What If. And this, this week's What If, obviously, we're not doing a Dragon Ball Z one. I got plenty of Dragon Ball ones. But, I mean, I like to try at least keep it a different uh, occasionally, so it's not always just straight Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, and this one is, what if Han, what if Greedo shot at first, or well, what if Greedo shot and killed Han in A New Hope? And, yeah, I'm going to be quite honest. <laughs> it's going to end the story pretty quick. So, okay, so let's get here. So Luke and Ben go and get the Luke and Kenobi go and get the money for the speed uh, for for the speeder so they can pay uh, Han. Han goes like, oh, Greedo, I was just going to see your boss. Tell Jabba I've got his money. And then it's like maybe give it back. And it's like, you eh, know, I've been waiting for this day a long time. So yeah, I still bet you have. And then boom, boom, and then ah, oh, and then yeah, now he's dead. So now we run into a bit of a problem. Uh, you know, there you go and um. They go and they meet up with Chewbacca, and, but Han's not there. Chewbacca's wondering where Han is. So, grrr, it's like, sorry, and just we don't speak the... It's okay, it's like, I think he's wondering where the uh, Oda of the ship is. And then, you know, the stormtroopers come in, and Greedo comes in, and uh, Greedo just goes, how about all that? And say, but Greedo lets it slip, it's like, yeah, your captain's not coming anymore. Basically, like, throws something of Han's down, like his belt or something, and Chewbacca just blasts him over his bowcast real quick, so Greedo's not dead. But now they're under attack. Han, uh, Chewie, though, can pilot the Falcon, no problems. He pilots it, and then they go, uh, and they're off to Alderaan. But meanwhile, it's just, Chewie's now just kind of mourning the loss of his friend, everything like that. Uh, so, at that point, it kind of stays the same. Granted, we don't get the Hokey religion, uh, and ancient weapons, and no good, no one can't match a good blast race. They don't get any of that. But, um, yeah, and then they go in there, and it's still going to be basically a lot of the same stuff. However... There's not going to be Han Solo. It's going to be difficult because you're not going to get Han and you might get Luke and uh, holding Chewie and taking him in there, but that won't go um very that that whole thing is like oh we're fine here right now thank you how are you <laughs> that's not going to happen <laughs> no that's not going to happen so yeah Super Troopers are still going to come uh, you know Chewbacca is going to be blasting at him uh, and. <laughs> It's basically we're gonna cut more or less to after when um when the Death Star is happening or when the attack on the Death Star is happening. Now because Han's not there, I mean Chewbacca by all definition doesn't have any reason to stay with these people because he hasn't developed the connection he developed all the way when he came in and helped with uh, episodes uh with uh seven and eight. He's, he hasn't developed the friendship with these people yet. So, by all definition, Chewbacca can just go home to his family with the Falcon. But Chewbacca also has a sense of helping people. Chewbacca's a good individual. Uh, so, I do think he'll be he'll do the whole, you know, helping and saving uh, uh, Luke at the end. So, the Death Star does blow up and all that. Cut to, basically, Ha! Huh, episode 8. So, basically, everything still happens relatively the same, but it's... Not does not go the same way as it did. Um, it's a bit more. It's definitely a bit more difficult on them. Now you cut to um. Now now you cut to episode eight, and here's where things are really gonna take a bad turn. Um, is that Han's the one who went to, out and found Luke and went to, and went and rescued Luke. Chewbacca, sure, probably, you know, his friends look, but he doesn't have the same, um, what's the best way to put it, gut compulsion or the same immediate urge to just go out into the cold and say, you know, save his friend that, or, you know, go out like Han did. Um, you know, he's not as defiant in that sense. And he, he can be defiant, yeah, but he's not as, um, um, and he, he's not, he's not going to basically do that, probably just because he doesn't, you know, he's, Han and Chewie are just two different characters. It's not the same thing. Um, <clears throat> so, because of that, Luke freezes to death. You must go to the... De Luke. 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 Oh, dear. That boy was our last uh, hope. <laughs> uh, no, there is another. <laughs> uh, well, hello, Leia. Uh, how are you doing today? You're actually the chosen one, Leia. Yes, you must fight your... You must fight your father, Vader. Vader, you must fight Vader. Come to me to the Dagobah system. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, well, I, well, actually, it, let me think this through because I haven't. I'm doing this on the fly at the moment. 
So Luke dies. They do find Luke's body. They bring him. He, he's unfortunately passed. Now, just, like, no. And yeah, now the um, Empire comes in. But now, but here's the thing. Now the Empire comes in. It's the attack on their old base. And it goes even worse for them as it did than it did in the initial one, uh, initial uh, episode eight because Luke was around and he was able to take out at least one or two of the AT-ATs. Um, but um, as Leia as Leia's running, she hears a voice from Ben. Uh, hears Ben's voice, like, Leia, run, Leia, go to the Dagobah system. <laughs> it's like what the Dagobah system? Uh, there, uh, go to the Dagobah system, and yeah. So now he's calling out to her. Uh, unfortunately, because the Millennium Falcon is, you know, what a pile of junk! It's a pile of junk. The hyperdrive's still, you know, crapped out. Um, so, with that said, um, now, and because, of, unfortunately, they can't go to the Dagobah system because they're still being followed by the frickin' Empire. Without being able to fix the hyperdrive, they can't, um, they can't just, boom, blast, blast, pass the blockade. Remember, they were, they had the Empire on their tail most of the time in Empire. So, um, yeah, and so her going to the Dagobah system, not very likely, but maybe Ben can do some force ghost intervening, maybe mess with their, uh, transmission, stuff like that, and they, and then they get out. It, maybe something, Ben's able to force ghost the hyperdrive quickly, and then it's her, Chewie, and R2 and 3PO going to the Dagobah system, going to the, uh, Dagobah system, basically. So, we go from there, and now... What happens here? Well, yeah, they go to the Dagobah system. Chewie's maybe fights some mo a couple of cr big creatures. R2 and 3 is like, oh, what that filthy place is. Like, mm, are we put your weapons in me in our home? I am wondering, why are you here? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're, we're looking. I was told to come here. I heard a voice. I heard Obi-Wan Kenobi's voice. And say, like, mm, Kenobi, great warrior he was. Mm? <laughs> All right. And say, so, where's the guy? Yoda, you see Yoda. Yoda, you see Yoda. Take your two in my will. But first, let's eat. <laughs> I think Yoda would still do that. But Leia's definitely got more patience in these kind of matters than Luke did. Luke was very, um, you know, never focus, always focus on where, on the sky. Look into the future. Never focus on where he was, what he was doing. <laughs> Leia, on the other hand, is more focused on the present. Luke is always looking past, looking to the future. Leia is always more focused on the here and now. I mean, yeah, she's planning for the future to maybe beat the Empire, but she's more focused on the plan, on here and now. So Leia would definitely have more patience than uh, Luke would. And I think because of that, Yoda would see more potential in her. And theoretically speaking, she may very well have had more potential than Luke. Just that she wasn't uh, raised as a Jedi. She didn't go... I mean, she can use the Force, obviously. And she is a uh, daughter of uh, Skywalker. So anything's possible. Uh, because of that, you know, uh, she explains it. Mm, lost Luke, we did. Mm, potential the boy had, but but the mindset of a Jedi, he did not. Shame, though. But life moved. Uh, and basically, he just has a moment with Leia and talks about, mm, but you, you are last hope, Leia. So, uh, trained against, trained to fight the dark side, trained to fight Vader, you must. And, so, and the Lord's like, I'm, I'm afraid. Like, mm, I guess I sense your fear. But, but you must learn to... But fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. I sense much fear in you. Was like, but I I was like, but I have to do it. It's like, hmm. Fear. Fear is, a, fear is a great enemy. But fear is like anything. It can be overcome. Well, overcome it can be. Strength you can find from it. And so, yeah, and that Yoda would basically train Leia with Chewie there and uh, Cthulhu there. Now, I am wondering, could possibly Yoda have had, like, maybe a spare kyber crystal on call for, you know, building lights, or materials to build a lights here? Let's hypothetically say, because he would, because he went to exile, well, hoping for a day to train one of them, that maybe he did have stuff on call. So he would train Leia. And now here's a really big difference here between um, between the original and this version. In the original, Luke's training for Yoda with Yoda for a while. I mean, it's, there's, it's never explicitly said how long he trains. It's easily a couple days, maybe a week. L let's hypothetically say a week. And then he leaves. And Yoda's just, Yoda just says, like, no, you must. It's like, uh, no, it's one of them. Is it Yoda or Ben? It says, no, you must complete your training. Um... And it's like, I don't want to lose you like I did Veda. Um, 
But yeah, Luke was brash. Luke was rash. Leia's not. No, Leia's. Leia's in my is like no. I have to complete. I need to go as strong as possible to fight the uh, fight Vader. And I very much believe she will stay there until Yoda believes her training is done. Until she, Yoda is just like, mm. there's like, I'm proud I am of you. Mm. Pride. Um, pride I feel of my student, I do. Many, many years have passed. <laughs> many years passed they have. And I have yet to see a Jedi as strong as you in many days. So basically Yoda praises her. Like, eventually she completes her training. She has a lightsaber of her own. If I already guessed... Her personal lightsaber color, because lightsaber colors are usually dependent on, they're actually sentient beings now in the canon. Uh, and they um, imprint, basically, your stance in the Force. Leia, to me, doesn't come off as a... Sh Leia, to me, comes off as a green color. Green color means you're more Force-oriented, and you deal with more Force techniques. Whereas blue is more like the Jedi Guardian, or Sentinel. It's a Sentinel Guardian. Where you're basically more combat oriented in the Force. Obi Wan was blue. Um, Yoda's green because Yoda's one of the strongest Force users around. Lu Anakin was more heavy. Grant Anakin's Force powers were off the charts, but he was definitely more of a combat oriented fighter. Um, and then Luke later becomes a bit more of a Force user. So the, the color standby. And then you get into the whole other echelons of colors. Uh, like purple is your your in between. You you work with both the dark and the light. But Leia would not be that way. So now he's like, now basically they had the Cloud City. Um, he's like, mm, go to Bespin, you must go. And it's like, strong, strong Vader is there. Vader is there. And then, you know, Leia's like, ah, hello, I'm Lando Carvazian. And, uh, you know, Leia's, Leia's keeping, uh, keeping under wraps. Like, and, you know, that she, you know, is like, so where, Chewie, uh, Chewie, where's on? And it's like, uh, and it's like, it's like uh, actually, no, honestly, Chewie would probably, honestly, couple of years between Empire and because of Lando's connections probably he'd probably know that Han was dead at that point it's like Chewie and say you know everything for everything it is I'm sorry about Han it's like, <laughs> so yeah and basically you know it's like I've actually just arranged a deal with you know the uh, company to keep Empire out of here forever and then Vader's there actually no they no Vader just be there and you know and this is our, he should say, this is our carbonate, carbonite freezing chamber. <laughs> it's here I keep my frosty Colt 44s. <laughs> uh, and then you, then you hear the very, the very it's like, you know, actually it turns out I made a deal that'll keep the Empire out of our hair for good. And then you just hear the breathing and there's Vader. It's like, yes, and, indeed. And then um, Leia, Leia's standing guard. She doesn't immediately go first here because Leia, again, is a more composed individual than Luke is, generally speaking. So, I mean, Grant, we could argue to the cows come about them in Last Jedi, but, you know, as it stands, Leia was easily more composed. Or, or, or easily. It was definitely between the two of the more composed. You could tell just from the way they acted. Uh, she didn't go off the handles all as, um, as much as Luke did. Though she definitely had her moments. It's like, I've knew, I, it's like I thought I sent something. <sighs> so it seems where Skywalker died... You, Organa, you, you took his place. So the power I sense in you is grand, young one. And then, you know, the, the and Leia pulls out her blade, just, and they get into fighting. Now, Luke held, held his own in the early match with, in Empire with Vader. But once Vader just took it up a notch, Luke couldn't compete. Um, Leia, having spent her entire time, like, God knows how much time on that planet training with Yoda. I have to imagine she can put up a very solid fight against Vader. And her she would also have been training with her force abilities, being probably even if she's not as doesn't have as strong potential as Luke does, she has strong potential in the force because of her lineage. So we I she he maybe tries using the whole telekinesis trick with his blade as he attacks, but she just blocks and she's maybe like does like a force shield and then she comes in again and Vader's just like, it's like impressive, most impressive. I can see why the Emperor is interested in, in you. Uh, join me, Leia, and I will complete your training. <laughs> now here's an interesting thing. Vader doesn't Vader knew about Luke. Vader Vader knew Luke was his son. It wasn't until Jedi that he knew Leia was his daughter. Uh, or at least that he knew he had a daughter. 
So really, um, really, there, there would be no, like, no, Leia, I am your father. No, there would be nothing, none of that. And the question is, does Leia eventually overtake him? Here's the thing. If she is at, at least at her maximum in this, in this scenario, betting a long strain, around Return of the Jedi Luke, I think there's a solid argument to say that she does beat him. But the reason that Luke technically beat him, one, Luke was just kind of in better form because uh, he just spent a lot of time training, but also Vader was in conflict. If Vader hadn't been in conflict, you could make an argument Vader could have won that fight. Um, but here's, but Vader's not in conflict. And Vader probably would be surprised by just how much power she has. Um, I, but I, Leia's also the more strategic somewhat. I think Leia would maybe try to, like, force... Try doing, like, rip the, like, the computer thing off the, um... Damn it, what's it called? The, um... Control module off his, off his, uh, chest. And then, you know, just, just like... <gasps> and then just run him through. And then, you know, I think she... I think, yeah, she... I think she does actually beat Vader in Bespin. I think she does. Um, so I do think that's what, I do think she went. Now, the Emperor's still around. They still got that entire shtick to go with. So leading up into, uh, Return of the Jedi now, you know, the Bespin has now become, is now basically been liberated by Vader. And, you know, the, the troops are, you know, get a, have to be taken out of there. Well, the troops might still stick around, but, you know, Lando gets out of there, evacuates the city, joins the rebellion. Um, um... So he cuts a return of Jedi, which takes place years later. There's nothing to do with Jabba now. Because Han's dead. The reason they went to Jabba's palace is to save Han. There's nothing to do with Jabba now. So now they've been just constantly working with the Empire. Now, the Emperor at this point in time probably has someone else as kind of an apprentice of some kind. Just basically a new lackey for him to manipulate. Uh, I don't... But they wouldn't be. They certainly would not be, or like Vader level of uh, uh, opponent. They would definitely would not be that. Um. Um. Yeah, they they definitely wouldn't be. Uh, they definitely wouldn't be Vader level. So if they tried to fight Leia at this point, who's ju only just grown stronger, then th then yeah. And at this point, with the years between Return of the Jedi and um. Empire, if we go to start where Jedi starts out, in terms of the time period, Leia would be stronger than Luke is. Leia would be stronger than Return of the Jedi Luke at that point. However, basically, they find about the plans about the new Death Star. They go to Endor. They they, they basically succeed in shutting down, the basically, um, uh, shutting down the reactor. And that whole plan goes about as well as it should have because but here's the thing because Je leia is a jedi she can easily just like when the door gets jammed she can be like nope and because she's basically stronger than luke is at this point she can be like nope and just or cut it through with her lightsaber um so basically they'll quickly just take can care of the shield generator and then you know the attack run on the death star they didn't need force user for that the emperor um <laughs> The Emperor still is over... Now, guys, does the Emperor still come to oversee the Death Star? Um... Let's for sake of sake say... Let's for sake say, yeah. Um... Hey, hey, it's kind of like your cop is your friend is yours. And he's just sitting there laughing at it, and then he realizes, wait, I said something's different. The shield generator is that he goes, but um, let's hypothetically say he just doesn't make it in time. It's like, ah, shit. It blows up. So, after that, basically, Return of the Jedi does end with, you know, the Rebellion winning. Obviously, the First Order is born out of the, um, uh, out of the ruins of the Empire, as always. Uh, moving into Episode 7, not a huge amount changes, actually. Like, Chewie, unlike Han, who kind of lost his, and got, they got the Falcon, so I don't imagine Chewie would be so careless with his ship. So, with his ship, not the Han ship, with his ship. So, I, first off, I don't think, um, Han, I, I don't think Chewie loses the Falcon at all, which means Rey and uh, Finn have some, definitely have some trouble coming up there when the, um, uh, when, sorry, one second, there we go, 
Um, uh, yeah, Brendan and Faye definitely have some trouble when the TIE Fighters are attacking. But I think they'll... Let's just hypothetically say they find a way out. They find another ship and they get out of there. Um... So, then, and then they get out of there, and, you know, somehow, Chewie's still with the Rebellion. So, they go, and, you know, they, uh, they're just, they basically, they just go to the Ilenian system, where the Rebellion is. And, eventually, they meet Chewbacca, and they meet Leia, and, you know, things along those lines. Leia is that still General Leia, but she's also Jedi Master Leia at this point. Uh, and, yeah, and she, at this point... It, now, the question is, does Kylo Ren even exist at this point because of Ben, ben Solo? Well, Ben Solo, Han's dead, so there is no Ben Solo. There's no Kylo Ren. Um, honestly, uh, frankly, ooh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to change something real right now. Because there is no Ben Solo, I think Kylo Ren is actually, uh, well... Uh, I'm going to play, do a little play on name here. It's not Kylo Ren. It's Raylo Ren. Uh, Raylo Ren. I think Kylo Ren is Rey. Because let's be clear. When darkness rose, light came to greet it. So Rey was born. She was Force sensitive. That being said, you could make the argument then that she might not be born a Force sensitive because the Force chose her to be the one that combats Kylo in the Force. Um... So, but then again, she probably would have been poor since then because of the whole damn canon metachlorians. Um, so yeah, so actually, I think Kylo Ren is actually a female, and I think it's Rey. I think Rey is Kylo Ren. So, in that sense, you know, Finn, actually, I gotta take that back. Finn, Finn can't really pilot. So Finn's kind of just stuck on Jakku. <laughs> stuck on Jakku. Um, the draw, um, which actually means that BB-8 got captured, but BB-8, but BB, no, actually, I again, I had to scroll, go roll back all the way to the beginning of the movie. BB-8 and Poe wouldn't be there because Ray, but because they wouldn't, um, yeah, BB-8 and Poe wouldn't be there because they were going for a map, piece of the map of Luke Skywalker. Luke's not in this picture anymore, so they'd just be with a rebellion. Ray is now the Kylo Ren of this story. Finn is. Finn can't even use Poe to escape, so now he's kind of just stuck there. Uh, can probably gets court-martialed at some point. Uh, so, yeah, Finn's screwed. Um, and because of that, there's no one to lead them to the base for the Resistance. Um, yeah, and the Resistance is even stronger because they have the support of a Jedi. And because no one ever found out that Vader was their her father, she has far more support now. So you pretty much now just lead into, um, basically you lead into the old version. Nothing really happened. I mean, they they find out about Star Killer Base, obviously, and they they've heard about it, but and they see what, how it works. The question, but I believe between Leia's force abilities and Poe just being a great pilot, they figure out a way to take it down. We we'll cut into Episode Eight. Eventually, you'll just have Leia try to take on Kylo, Rey, Kylo Ray, if you will, and Ray. You know, she kind of does because she kind of just manhandles Ray a bit. Weird, weird terminology to use in this case, but just you know, boom, does that, and it's her against Snow. I think it ends with her versus Snoke and them taking each other out because Snoke was dastardly powerful. <laughs> Um, but I think it ends with them taking each other out and Ray kind of just being you know, thrown to the side. And yeah, that's kind of how it ends. Um, it, it more or less is that you'll still have leading into episode nine anyway. Yeah, I, uh, th that's a weird thing. See, as I was thinking now, I'm like, wow, that's going to end this whole series really quick. But then I realized, no, there's, there's definitely ways you can, um, d do it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and then as I kept going, I was like, oh, no, wait, no, oh, God, no. So, yeah, um, I'm, I, so, yeah, that's how, that's my take on what, all this stemming from the fact that Han Solo got killed by Greedo. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As well as you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. I just would win Star Wars Super Magic What If. Anything I do on the channel, put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to it at some point. I just would win Star Wars Super Magic What If. Anything I do. I just said that. Uh, if you like us to review something, put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do a review of it at some point. That's what I meant to say. Uh, obviously, the Infinity Awards this week. I, it's the week of who would wins this week, so I should hopefully have a who would win every day. Uh, I might do a magic video at some point. Don't know for certain. Um, oh, and there will be a, a special video for uh, a or a, use, a requester, a user, a subscriber of mine. So thanks for watching. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see.